Good evening, everybody. We are live at the Robin Hood Road location of A Cleaner World here for the kickoff of Give a Kid a Coat for the 37th year. And we do this every year to help the Salvation Army help our community. And I'm here with Major Andrew Wiley. Andrew, it's great to be with you again this year. Can't believe it's already back. I know. It seems like we just did it, and here we are again. Yes, sir. And you got, of course, a prop for exactly what we're doing. We're trying to help people, especially children, this time of year to have a coat to wear on these cold, cold days. Absolutely. You think about how cold it was this morning, and imagine children going out and waiting at the bus stop and being out in those cold temperatures. I would challenge people, if you want to know how you make a difference, imagine a child's face in the hood of this coat and see them at the bus stop waiting all warm in their jacket because viewers have helped us to do that. So it's an opportunity to help our neighbors and really do something great. And I'm sure you see the need for this. You probably have people come to you always asking you, asking you for coats. Absolutely. We give out coats to folks who need it. We do some pop-up distributions. Local soup kitchen will show up there with racks of coats and help people as they're getting their lunch. They'll also be able to get a coat and stay warm. So absolutely, the need is there and very real. And they'll take new coats, of course, but if you bring a used coat that you don't need anymore, these folks here at A Cleaner World will clean those coats up and make them like new and then get them out to a child that can really wear them. Thanks so much and let's hope this year is a great campaign. Absolutely. We're at 966,000 coats since we started the campaign 37 years ago. We're closing in on a million. We absolutely are. It's going to so be let's, excited. Let's do it and make it big. Let's do it. All right, let's talk about our weather. We need coats out here. It is a cold one here in the Piedmont today. We have had some sunshine as you can see on the time lapse here. The view from High Point, you can see in the distance Winston-Salem where I'm standing on Robin Hood Road. To the right, you can see Pollock Mountain. So it's been a good looking day, but the clouds are going to start building in. We got some high thin clouds out here right now. As we take a look at our numbers for the day, it's been a chilly day here in the Piedmont. Our temperature outside is 41 right now. The high was 44 today, and that low this morning, it, it required a coat. 21 degrees this morning. Current temperatures across the coverage area right now are falling through the low 40s, with some 30s starting to show up as well. Reedsville 38, 39 in Asheboro, 26 up on Beach Mountain, and 29 in Sparta. As we look at our temperatures over the course of the evening here in the tribe, we're in the low 40s and working our way into the upper 30s, then down into the low 30s. We may come up a little bit around 2 a.m. as the clouds thicken, but then the rain will start and temperatures will fall to around freezing, and that'll be rain and light freezing rain mixed at times, depending off your 32.1 or 31.9. I mean, it really does make that much of a difference, and we'll be seeing that throughout the night tonight into the morning hours. Now, as we look at the satellite radar, there's nothing threatening us right now. We've got just some clouds starting to show up, these high clouds. If you open the picture up, though, you'll see there's more back out to our west, and that's the weather that's going to start coming our way late tonight and tomorrow morning. Now, as we look at the weather map for the next couple days, a low pressure area coming up from the Gulf Coast is going to be coming up through the region. Once it passes by, we're going to see much nicer weather come back. We'll get some clearing late tomorrow, and then we'll see some sunshine as we go on into Sunday, so good looking weather there. And as we look at our Futurecast model here for the Piedmont, overnight tonight, those clouds will begin to increase, and then that moisture starts to roll in, and there you see that freezing rain threat in the morning, and then it starts to pull back farther and farther to the north as we go through time, and then it it's just regular rain and it will be done with it and we'll even see some clearing by late in the day. Now the freezing rain threat, what we're looking at for this system is more of it back in the foothills and only a light glaze here in the Piedmont. So again, uh, just watch out on your deck in places like that here in the Piedmont. And always watch the bridges and overpasses. Now let's look at the uh, beach forecast for the weekend. They got some rain down there tomorrow. Temperatures will be hitting about 65 degrees. Mountains will see some wintry mixture tonight into early tomorrow, and then theirs will turn to rain. 38 degrees for the high tomorrow. Here in the Piedmont tonight, partly cloudy and 33 degrees. Overnight, we'll drop back to 30, and we'll see that light precipitation get underway. And then tomorrow, we look for freezing rain going over to rain with a high temperature at 41. Here's your extended forecast. The wintry weather early, back to 41 tomorrow. Sunny skies and 51 on Sunday. Another rain event's coming in on Tuesday, and a shower chance coming in next Friday.